Pearl Studio Kitchen live. Thank you so much for joining me on tonight for this very special wintertime island type menu with our Jamaican oxtails. Are you ready? Yay! I'm ready too. All right, here we go. Okay, so first, you need to start with Bay, bay. Look at look at these babies. Beautiful large oxtails. And the first thing that we're gonna do first, I salted them, and uh, well, I cleaned them up first, then patted them dry, then put some salt on it to kind of draw some moisture out. And now I'm gonna heat up my stock pot that the oxtails are gonna go in. I love this new pot. Oh, love it. It's nice and heavy and sturdy, and it's really gonna hold up against these oxtails. So before we start, I'm going to season the oxtail. So I've already got the salt on it. Now I'm gonna add my other seasonings, okay? So what I'm gonna do, because you need your hands to do this. So make sure your hands are nice and clean uh, in order to do this recipe. And these are the little baby tails. All right. So I'm going to toss all of that in a pot and I'm going to start to season them up. What am I going to season them up with, pray tell? Well, I've got some Caribbean oxtail seasoning. Not going to use a whole lot of that. I've got some browning sauce Ooh, sorry yeah there we go browning sauce let's, let's get that baby open Ugh. a little badia sazon some complete seasoning some garlic powder and the secret ingredient which is not so secret really is a little brown sugar all right now we don't want, this meat is not going to be sweet, but the brown sugar will actually help to bring out that, uh, the flavor of the oxtail and kind of bring all of those other flavors together. So that pot is getting hot pretty fast. I'm just going to put some olive oil in it. Now while that's getting hot, I want to season up, move, move out the way. Here we go. Some browning sauce. Okay, put a little browning sauce in there. And some of that oxtail seasoning, which you can find in any store. Some garlic powder. That oxtail seasoning, honey, ain't nothing to play with. And some badia. All right. Where is my brown sugar? Here we go. Never mind. Here we go right here. All right. I'm going to use about a tablespoon. Not quite a tablespoon of brown sugar. All right. Sprinkle that in there. And mix, 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 okay? Just get all those seasonings in there real good because what you're going to do with the larger pieces of the, of the tail, the big pieces, I'm going to sear that before I start to cook them, all right? But before I do, I got to make sure everything is nice and mixed in. All right, here we go. Thank you guys for being with me on this Friday night. I know um, I missed you after the Thanksgiving holiday because I was spending some much needed time away with my family. And boy, am I glad I did. I had a wonderful break with mom and dad and nieces and brother and sisters. It's just just good stuff. 
Oh boy, I think I want a little more browning sauce on this. more of this magi <laughs> magi browning sauce and oh I can't forget my allspice so in order to make these Jamaican oxtails you need just a pinch a pinch of allspice okay so here it is, a little ground allspice. I'm just gonna kind of measure it in my fingers. And move it around in there. Don't be afraid to use your hands in the kitchen, all right? You can always wash your hands and sanitize everything, all right? But really get it mixed in there real good. All right. Now, I'm going to set that aside, wash my hands, and we will start to put our, put that back on the fire, put our veggies. So, we want to start this um, oxtail stew with some onions, all right? So, I've got some red onion, and I've got some green onion. And I'm going to get cut up real quick. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. So, I'm actually going to have the girls over for dinner. For a little Jamaican dinner. And I needed to make sure that I started the recipe early. Because the oxtail uh, takes so long to cook. Alright, let me rinse this off. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Put off those ends. And prepare to cut. That is not the right knife. That'll do. Mm. So right now I'm just going to cut up some green onion. And then I'm going to cut some red onion in here. I love the flavor of red onion. It's a little pungent, but still it's got a little sweetness to it, which you can really get into with these oxtails. But everything is gonna cook down so much in the stew, because the stew is gonna cook for about two and a half, three hours to make sure uh, that that oxtail is really falling off the bone when we, Get ready to eat. All right. So, uh, before I put that in there, let me get my red onion. Red onion. Aha! All I'm going to do is just kind of slice it down. I'm going to put them in at the same time because what I'm, I'm not trying to brown the onions. I just want them to caramelize a little bit. All right. So, continue to. Cut, cut, cut. Get that out of there. Ooh, ooh. And toss them in that pot with the olive oil. Ooh, you hear that? Ooh. Yes, honey. Throw it on in there. Throw all of it on in there. Now, in this stew, I'm also going to put some carrots. I'm also going to put some baby potatoes, which is always nice in a stew. That way, if you don't want rice, you can just eat the potatoes. But in this case, your South Carolina honey here wants a little rice, okay? So we're going to have both. All right. But right now, I'm going to clean up a few of these onions. You, you didn't see that. I, I'm going to use another one. Use another one. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, okay, okay. Now, get these washed up and clean. Woo! in this kitchen. I just need for you to know. Get my carrots going. Oh, I love some roasted or stewed carrots. Carrots have a natural sweetness that's really going to shine bright in this recipe. Okay? Throw those in there. And throw a few more. I'm just kind of cutting them on a diagonal. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That and that. All right. So we've got our carrots, our red onion, and our green onion in the pot. I want to turn this up just a little bit. Now, maybe I made a little bit of a mistake because I wanted to sear those oxtail. Tell you what, I'm going to, after these cook down a little bit, I'm going to take them out of the pot and then I'm going to put my oxtails in there because I want a little bit of a, I want to brown them a little. The big pieces I want to brown. I'm not worried about the little pieces so much. But those big pieces of tail, I want to make sure I get a nice little sear on both sides. All right. And that's going to help it to continue to cook and um, seal in those flavors. So, got that going. Turnip greens. All right. Let's, let's put this here. Looking for places to find stuff. To, to put stuff. Oh. I cannot leave out my little baby potatoes. So I found these little babies. They are little blushing red baby potatoes. Small. Small. I'm making such a mess tonight, but you're here to join me for it, so thank you. All right, those are going to go in my stew a little bit later on, but before I put them in my stew, I'm going to show you a little, little trick I like to do with my uh, potatoes, especially when they're going in a stew or a nice soup. Take a little fork, and I just want to pierce it. Ooh, sorry about that. I want to pierce them just a little bit. To make sure that whatever juices cook up in my stew also go throughout my tater. Like that. So you just want to pierce, pierce, pierce. And you don't have to do them to all of them, but I, I'm going to do them to quite a few. Because I really want that. Oh, that's looking good. That is looking real good. So I I bought these oxtails a little while ago. I had them in the freezer. And I knew, I knew that after the Thanksgiving break, I was going to want these things. I knew it. You know, I didn't want any more turkey or dressing or turkey salad or turkey casserole or anything like that. I wanted oxtails. So, I made sure I had them ready to go for Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen tonight. Yay! Thank you for being here. Now, if you're just joining me, it is Ooh. 
get a little sea salt in there. Everything that you put in your, your stew, you need to season. So if I'm doing vegetables se separately, then I need to make sure I season them. Okay? Get those seasoned up. I'm not worried about cooking the carrots until tender because they will become tender in the stew. All right, but so this is what you've got. Oh, that's beautiful. I know. I know, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So now, I'm just going to take these out. Oh my, 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 my. Delicious. You get a little more olive oil in here. Because now I'm about to sear up my large oxtails. Yeah, it's a Jamaican feast tonight, baby. We got oxtail stew. We've got rice and pigeon peas and we've got um i'm gonna do some fried plantain and some turnip greens mm -hmm. all of that tonight so meat side down make sure that's turned up i want them turned all the way up Like I said, I wasn't worried about the small ones, but these big ones, I want to get a nice, see how I got them in there? So they get brown on both sides, all right? Wash the hands. Oh, yes. Sometimes you just get a hankering for some good old... So food, honey. And that's what I needed tonight. All right. So after I get these stewed, I'll put on my pigeon peas and rice that I'm going to cook together. And my turnip greens. And fried plantain. Yes. Yes. I'll show you how to do the fried plantain. Alright, so now I've got this pot turned all the way up with my oxtails in it. What you don't want to leave out is fresh herbs. So I'm going to take a few sprigs of fresh thyme and throw them in there so that you have that, okay? Ouch, very much. Ouch, very much. Okay, and turn. This is ready to turn. Now, your, um, ooh, <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> that is gorgeous. I'm going to show you uh, what one side of the browning looks like with these oxtails. All right, you ready? You ready? Okay, didn't take long. Now that you've got your oxtails browned, you've got your onions caramelized and carrots going in a little bit of olive oil, you're just going to make sure they're all together in the pot. All right? So everything is together. And now, add a little bit of broth. I say about a cup. About a cup. 
maybe even a cup and a half. All right, I'm gonna add a little more thyme. I just love fresh thyme, honey. So it's gonna it's gonna be in there. All right. All right, so now before I start my turnip greens and my rice and peas, I want to clean down my stove. All right, so here we go. Feast your eyes upon that gorgeousness. Now, of course, I'm going to be tasting um, to make sure it's got just the right amount of salt and that balance of sweetness in there uh, that I like for my oxtails. Meanwhile, I'm gonna let this do what it do and I'm not gonna bother it, okay? So I'm just gonna turn it up a little bit. Like I said, that's gonna be cooking for a couple of hours, so y'all not gonna get to see all of that because I'm gonna speed the video up. All right, I forgot my little babies. I forgot my babies. Get the babies in there. Now I definitely want to add a little more broth. Okay, take that broth up to just where the meat stops. You saw how I did that? Okay. You don't want it drowning in broth because that broth is going to cook down. All right. So right up to where the meat stops. Take it all the way up. Cover it. I forgot my garlic. Garlic, garlic, garlic. Honey, I can't forget that. One more time. Okay. So we're going to get that. It's going to start to boil a little bit. And what I'm also going to do is put a little bit of tomato paste. All right. Now cover. Okay, so the pigeon peas and rice are going to take quite some time because pigeon peas, they take quite a bit to cook. And if you don't cook them long enough, they can be really hard and tough. Okay, so I've got my, one of my Tommy pots here, nice little rice pot that I love. And you want to find you a can of green pigeon peas okay this one is in coconut milk which i love because it's gonna really bring out that island flavor okay so let's get this baby cracked open These pigeon peas have coconut milk in it, and I want the coconut milk. I do. So I'm adding the can with the liquid in it. Pour it right on in there. Oh, so nice. Look at that. Okay, let those cook. And I'm going to check it for the right amount of seasoning. Make sure I got enough salt and everything okay that's nice 
but not quite right. I want a little more salt. Boom. Add just a little bit of water. And let that cook down. And those are your pigeon peas. Cooking away. All right. Let that continue to cook. The oxtails are cooking. Let me just prove it to you. Oh, that's hot. Now, it looks good, but it ain't done. If you really want fall off the bone oxtails, give it three hours. Take some time. Read a book. All right? Start a business. Do something. Because this is going to take some work. Let it cook. All right. I'm excited about that. I'm only going to do one plantain tonight because when the girls come, I'm going to make more. But I just want to show you how I get the plantain started. All right. So you got your plantain. Nice and uh, yellow is starting to turn. This is when it starts to get a little bit sweet. I buy them kind of green. And then put them in the windowsill so that they they turn like this. Give it a nice little slit down the middle. And what you end up with is a beautiful yellow sweet. Plantain, all right? Plantains are so good because it, it's, it, it's like a marriage between the sweet and the savory when it comes to uh, a banana. All I'm going to do is kind of cut this diagonal, and I will show you how I do that here. I like mine like that, kind of long diagonal lines because when I lay them in my oil I want them thick enough so that they don't burn okay and to that plantain you're going to add some brown sugar There we go. That was a tablespoon. And just kind of get it in there. Because these are going to fry in a little bit of olive oil. Later on. That's it. That's all you need for, for fried plantain. Some people don't do the brown sugar and that's fine. Some people like a more savory plantain. I happen to like mine a little bit, of, a little bit sweet. Uh, because when you do that, it kind of tastes almost, almost like a sweet potato. It's, it's kind of nice, all right? So this, let me show you what's happening with the pigeon peas. They're going. The pigeon peas are going. Getting all that lusciousness in there. Okay, and then I'm going to got my peas up to a boil after about because pigeon peas can be a little bit tough to the tooth. You want to cook them down for about five to eight minutes. Okay, in this case, I've got mine going in that coconut milk, that water. I'm going to add a little bit of broth, and I'm going to add my rice. First, I'm going to add the rice, and then I'll add the broth to it. 
just gonna bring it up and ooh, honey it's gonna be so good <laughs> I could probably eat the pot of rice by myself all right I'm gonna just show you okay so stand by here we go rice I don't like to waste a single grain. Now, I may not even need to add any, any additional broth, but you know what? I'm going to add just a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit. Boop, boop. Just a little bit. Okay? Now, once you've added that, you've cooled your rice down. So now you need to bring that rice back up to a boil so that it kind of, it can uh, get to a place where it can start to tenderize. And then you want to take it all the way down. Cover it. Don't lift it. Don't look at it. Leave it alone. Okay. That's come up to a boil. Turn it down. All the way down. Oh. And cover just leave it covered as a matter of fact that's venting a little bit too much there we go just a little trick so after my pot <laughs> warped over years of use um, the lid doesn't seem to fit the pot anymore so I just stick a piece of foil under there to keep it keep all that air from escaping and it keeps a nice airtight seal quick easy cheap trick all right now for the turnip greens are you ready honey I need some a little bit of South Carolina with this Jamaican feast, honey. I'm not, ooh, 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 turn that down. Now I've got the oxtails cooking on medium, medium. And what I want to do right now is go ahead and get my turnip greens started. Okay, so here we go. Found me some turnip greens at the market. Oh, they were beautiful and tender, and I can't wait to cook them. So, first thing I want to do is get my pot on the eye. Of course, I love my olive oil. Now, let me say this. If you use fat back to season your greens, honey, you are A-OK -okay in my book. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Nothing. It tastes amazing. Yes, look out for the fat back. But I know that at my age... And my waist, I can't handle the fat back. So instead of doing my greens and a lot of fat back and stuff, I just started off with the olive oil. I add my salt, my sugar, my pepper, and that is all that I need. Okay? I am not a fat back snob. Never know how. Love the fat bag, honey. If I'm at your house and you cook greens with fat bag, guess what? I'm helping you eat them. But I can't cook them like that because of what I'm of what I'm trying to achieve. Mm-hmm. Right. All right. So I got my olive oil on here. You with me? My olive oil. And let me show you these pretty turnips that I, I cleaned up the other day. Boom. They are, I want to do, where's my fork? There we go, my knife, my kitchen shears. Okay. 
honey. When I tell you these were the most beautiful, greenest, most tender greens I have seen in quite some time. Let me show you. Don't that look like a salad? It does look like a salad. I know. They're turnip greens. Uh-huh. I, I cut and clean them myself, boo. And all I'm about to do is some olive oil, some salt, a pinch of sugar, and a little bit of pepper. I might put some chicken base in there um, to kind of help it along. But let's, let's get these turnip greens going, I say. Make sure my rice is turned all the way down. Now, when your rice, after you've brought your rice up to a boil and you turn it all the way down, I mean very, very low and you cover it tight, don't open it again because at some point you're going to end up with soggy rice and, and Carla don't do no soggy rice. So don't do that. Leave it alone. Okay. Put my greens in this pot. Beautiful greens. Come on now. Somebody. Oh, gosh. We'll do a little bit of uh, sea salt. I'm going to add a little bit more, but right now I just need to make sure I get my seasoning right. Okay, and where is my pinch of sugar? And a splash of water. Boom. Turn that up. Then cover it up. Just like that. Okay. So what we have here, folks, is a meal that's ready to go. Turnip greens, pigeon peas and rice, and oxtails. I'm going to let that do what it do. And by the magic, the magic I say, of Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live, we will be back. We're back. About an hour or so later, I hear the oxtails in here talking. They having a good old conversation, honey. Let me see what they're talking about. Ugh. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Come on. Oh. 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 Oh, gosh. Build a little bit there, but let me let me just show you uh, what the ox sales have been doing. Now they've, yeah, okay. Ooh, that's heavy. Now your ox sales, especially if you use a big tail like I did. Oh gosh, it's gonna have a lot of oil. So what you want to do is just skim some of that oil off as it's cooking. So every now and then go back and just skim some oil off 
and I was able to skim off quite a bit of oil. Yeah, I don't want to eat all of that because it's going to go right here. And I don't need that, right? Okay, so I'm going to let that cook a little bit more. Now, before... Uh, oh, boy. Before I uncover the lid, when it started cooking, maybe about half an hour ago, yeah, about half an hour ago, I added two tablespoons of ketchup. That two tablespoons of ketchup is going to give me the, the umami that I be talking about. Yeah, that, that flavor that you really can't put a name to is that umami. Yes, so I got that umami in there. And I made a little bit of slurry. So I'm going to put some slurry in here. Just a little at a time. Stir as you as you put it in there, because it's gonna cool the it's gonna cool your stock down. Oh my gosh. Woo, honey, when I tell you. Okay, now we're not done. The turnip greens are done. The rice and peas are done. The oxtails, that's probably going to take another hour. Because when I have my girls over for dinner tomorrow, I don't want them struggling with trying to bite the meat off the bone. I want it to slip off the bone, honey. Yes, I treat my people right. So I'm going to let this cook for another, maybe another hour or so. I know. It it's a work. It really is. But if you want a really good oxtail stew, you gotta be willing to put in the work and put in the time. Now I'm ready to pull off all these clothes, my bra and everything, and go to bed, child. But I can't because I gotta make sure this is right. It's gotta be right. And it will be. In about an hour. Give me a minute. This is a recipe that takes time and love. So if you have neither. Okay. It's been many hours later. But it's time to eat, okay? At least to taste this masterpiece for tonight uh, before the girls get here. And let me just, I'm gonna plate up a little bit of rice and peas. Okay, so if you're just joining, this is the, uh, Rice and pigeon peas. All right, I'm gonna get that down in there. Wait, ah! the uh, oxtails they can probably still go for a little while, but child, I'm ready to taste something, so uh, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. Some turnip greens. Little bit of turnips. And they don't have too much water in them either, which is what I love. I don't like a whole lot of water in my greens. Oh, I just put the rice in a ramekin and turned it upside down so that I have this. Yeah. Uh, Nicely plated ring of rice. Mm -hmm. Bec because I'm dope like that. Yeah. I want to get some potatoes. And oh, I want some carrots in there. Some carrots. One more. Come on, carrot. 
now. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good and so tender. I, I can hardly wait to taste it. So what I'm gonna do, I'll save the big pieces for my girls and I'll just get a couple of the little tails, okay? So you got your eye set, but look at how, in case you were wondering, oxtail oh gosh so nice here's another one oh oh gosh look at that delicious delicious i say okay get one more little baby tail right there And my little oxtail dinner is ready. Now, I will show you the, like, for real, for real finished product later on. But right now, it's so late. I'm so tired. So, I just got the baby tails and the rice and pigeon peas, the turnip greens with some potatoes and carrots, I'm too tired to do the plantain right now, but I'll show you in another video how to get that done. All right, absolutely delicious. And let's eat. Mmm. The rice and peas, perfectly tender. Mmm. Let's get some turnips. Mm. Oh, the oxtail may be a little bit too hot for me to eat right now, but I'm gonna try. Mm. Mm. My God, my God, my God! Come on, somebody. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I know. Got my camera shaking. <laughs> it is supposed to be cute. But this is delicious. This is a four and a half hour dinner that I condensed for you tonight because you probably wouldn't stay on that long to watch me make it, right? I mean, let's be honest. But when I tell you, that everything on here, God made good, honey. Mm. Fork tender oxtails. And I'm gonna cook them down a little bit more too, so they really gonna be falling off the bone when the girls get here. Y'all. Thank you so, so much for tuning in to watch the beautiful mess that I make in the kitchen every single week. Thank you. I appreciate you. Um, this is all a part of, of me making a dream come true. And I am blessed and privileged that you tune in to watch. So, Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen live does it again honey and if you want to see this video be sure to tune into my youtube channel which is sugar pearls that's s-u-g-a-r-p-e-a-r-l apostrophe s my website will also have this video in a couple of days um at 
sugarpearlsonline.com. Tune in, watch, like, share, book me. I want to hear from you. You got to try this. Make, make this. I, I can't even pick it up. But make it. Mm. Make this, y'all. <laughs> I'll see you next week. I'm going to enjoy my dinner and my girls. I'll see you later. Mwah, mwah, mwah.